Hello, welcome back to Took Scrap Table. Long time no see, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I just <clears throat> been uh, cleaning out stuff, and I thought I make something that inspired by our beloved Wendy, Wendy at Miss um, Journal Adventure. Um, she made uh, these kind of um, folder and put like a paper scrap inside and and that and then I thought I'll, I'll, I'll mass make it today with the old um, dictionary book page and some tea, uh, tea, coffee dye recycled paper <clears throat> and just some scraps that uh, I have in the box but uh, yeah so um, you can do, do so in the tab on the side or you could um, punch the hole and um, tie something to it. This I use anything the tag or, um, in my scrap uh, box and I just use it for the tag spot. I leave this side blank uh, so that I can uh, put the sample paper or scrap paper or you can use vellum. Um, to make a pocket and stuff but I did just sew it down so you can write it on you could just leave it blank like this and make a, a journal card or yeah so <clears throat> I have this um, dictionary or book page and then I folded I mean I cut it I didn't really cut it I just um, put it make it a size uh, this side and then I just fold this this extra down and then I glue it down so it add the strength to it. I'll give you the measurement for this uh, side. It is nine, nine, almost nine and a quarter by by seven and a quarter um, which that will give you um, <clears throat> when you fold it in half um, that will fit in your regular side journal yeah and then I what I did I just glue this down quickly because I don't I'm not looking for a need or uh, a neat perfection I wanted um, a rough mix mixed media texture kind of so that's I use that and then I glue I have this um, paper of a quilt that I print out from many many moons ago like up and then I, I coffee dye them or tea dye them and then the ink just run so it gave a quite interesting color look and uh, and then what I did I just like gonna uh, just so inside and then let it dry and then I'm gonna collage in the front and then take it to sewing machine yeah so it's gonna be boring but I thought I'll do a couple in in front of the camera so you can do the same um, so how's everyone Darcy was in here and he didn't like the noise of I scraped um, just so, so he left and hang out with his dad. I hope everyone's well and <laughs> I haven't done anything uh, interesting and I haven't been crafting much but, um, but I did um, finish that journal, that um, Zen garden and I need to work on the, um, the cafe or uh, uh, <laughs> peony uh, at at peony cafe I think at at cafe peony or something I I can't remember see how bad I am with names um, it's so funny how I never admit that I, I'm losing memory <laughs> and, and on the weekend 
my daughters just proved it that I lost memory. I did, I lost one year of of the of my relationship of with my husband and Darcy. <laughs> I keep saying thinking that he is six years old, but he's not. He's seven. Oh my goodness. And and I've been with my husband for 12 years and I keep telling people 10 years, 11 years <sighs> and then we just like we had um, an anniversary um, on Monday but everything is closed on Monday here so we didn't go till Wednesday because we were so um, it's hard to get a reservation here if you don't book like ahead of time. But anyway, we did got into one restaurant, but we didn't like it that much. It was supposed to be French, but then when we get in, it's like an Asian fusion, which they didn't do a good job. So, <laughs> my my advice like if you want asian food you go eat with asian chef <laughs> so anyway um yeah so we were talking about how how that year that we were missing and my husband went in his computer and look up and pull out some photograph. <laughs> we, I was so young. I was, I look like a kid. Like, I look so, so young and skinny. And we did a lot of hiking back then. So, times fly. But we did had um. A good chat and we ended up coming walking down the street and get gelato after dinner because we didn't we didn't bother to get we wasn't happy with the with the dinner uh, my husband had, um, had these plates kind of like a surf and turf um, for Asian so they have pork belly, they have trim, uh, scampi, and have all in one plate. But I had a, a round steak, which so, so salty, I just, I couldn't finish it. And it's extremely expensive. It's like this, this size, like a two, two ounce steak or something. If I, two or four ounce, like $60. And no salad, nothing, it's just a steak. Unbelievable, but I guess right they in small town they have to have a large margin to be able to run a store. But if it, it wasn't that great, that's why I'm like oh. So and we and it was pretty busy in the restaurant. I was so surprised. They have a lot of Thai food in the menu. <laughs> I'm like, oh my. So, and, um, so the gesso, I have um, this one heavy gesso um, from Finnebear, I think. Yeah, Finnebear Art Basic. I had this quite a long time ago, um, two, three years ago. That's a long time to me, right? <laughs> so, and that, um, this size is only, how many ounces? Eight ounces? I think it is eight ounces. And lasts me forever, so. If you're not, like, doing so much on just so you could get a smaller size. So that it won't get hardened. And after from these steps, we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna do collage 
we're gonna collage a few with you this this one are dry not quite dry damn but okay let me let's do four I just want to come here and, and share this with you and because I haven't been around for so long <laughs> I mean in terms of creating together I have here um, some print from oh that's a sun garden from uh, Amity Bloom latest um, kit from her the paper bag and also some from Jog Medieval Mirage so that's what I'm gonna be using oh. I think this one I print both sides so I'm gonna make a bag so I'm gonna put that aside just gonna be using the one that is not printed both sides yeah so it's gonna be boring so hope you you know uh, <laughs> you can skip I won't be long I just thought I'd come and say hello because oh I, I ran out of these I use a lot of these now because it's it thicker so it doesn't make um the paper so soft sorry just walking away from you there um, my local art shop has really good price on these because they start like going up on price so I, I bought a I bought four bottles just to try it um, and she sold it for three dollars something so I just want to test out between these um, quick dry and uh, regular The quick dry, um, it dry fast, but it really hard to squeeze out for me. That's a, and because we are sewing, um, sewing the actually I I do put this up. Oh, this is even harder to squeeze. Um, So we don't need to glue everywhere. Just make sure it have enough amount of glue that it will attach. I usually put extra paper down. I don't know why I don't do that. <laughs> oh, I got um. I use I've been using these Timo bag. It's really good. Cut it open and use it. Yeah, so how's everyone doing? I've been so busy with um meeting up with the kid and friend invite us to dinner and such. And then this week, I haven't been around because um, Grandma has a few appointments, so that we need to take her to. And then the appointment, it's like a very short, uh, an hour or so appointment, but it takes like <laughs> waiting time and driving places. It just takes a lot of energy and time but it's all done and she's she's the test went really well for for someone who having so much going on um, and she's doing quite well she used walker but she can walk on her own for a good amount of time and then after yesterday yesterday was it yesterday yeah yesterday was a hard hard test 
And then after that, she want to go shopping. <laughs> yeah. And then she did walk without a um, walker. So I was so surprised. Yeah, so we... Pretty much most of that. Not much going on in the garden because of lots of rain. Oh, we have so much rain. But we need it because of the the heat wave that we have here. The next this week we yeah um laws of mosquito and so we didn't really sit outside much. So this weekend it's gonna be a long weekend for us because it's gonna be Canada Day and uh, I have a friend coming over from Toronto is it straight? no it's not straight and that after this I'm gonna go and tidy up the house <laughs> I Oh my goodness, I just couldn't keep up with the house chore. I don't know how you run the house <laughs> and try to craft the same time. Like, I mean, the people who still work full time, I'm like, how do you keep up with the house chore? Especially with the dog around. Oh my goodness. And he starts shedding now. It's just. This is going to be interesting. Interesting. Oh, this this one is a free... I think it's a freebie uh, for June freebie on my Ko-fi. If you haven't um, followed me on Ko-fi, you please do and go and grab this complimentary that I put up. And I need to start to think about July. I haven't, you know, I haven't feel creating much on on digital either. I just, it just, with the AI and all that, it just over, overwhelmed with stuff. Like, I have people who, who don't even know what, uh, what program to use to create a digital but want to sell digital and I'm just I just don't know what to give the advice to those <laughs> kind of question I mean it's not um, it's not that I don't want to share but I'm just like you have to have um, a basic knowledge of some some program and then you gotta test it out like I can't I don't know people have different um, not different skill but different interests and different um, level of, of interest in learning um, some people like shortcut like me <laughs> if people ask me the Photoshop I know basic but I just don't know the the extent of it. I, I know how to get around it, but if I'm running into problem, I, I go to my daughter. And she's really good with it. But um, yeah, so, and I just felt like everybody wants to sell digital because they think it's gonna, it make a lot of money, but I do it because I sometimes I want to make a journal and I don't have the the kit or the the paper that I can use so I create it and I start enjoying making it and then I start sharing it and I start selling it you know what I mean that that's how I start I don't jump in and sell and want to sell digital when I you know I I need to have interest in making and now it's like everyone selling because they can 
pull the image from the app or AI and start selling. And I try to avoid that, but sometimes it's hard to get a, um, a free copyright free image to create something that I want to create. But I'm still going to stick with the, you know, original art uh, from uh, what you call the vintage style kind of, uh, but fun, fun fun kid I will use AI and stuff like that and the um the uh, the additional to the peony um, at peony cafe I will be using images from my garden that's that's why it's take me long longer to to create the add-on because I, I need to work on the photograph that I have from my garden. So stay tuned. <laughs> and yeah, no, um, if you haven't followed me on Kofi, please do, and I will share as much as I can in the complimentary. I know a lot of you don't feel like investing money in the digital just to make um, one journal for yourself and stuff and or some of you just start out so I think that would help okay there's four of these we done and now I have a, a bunch of them um, you know in my kit it's called bookmark or some um, that I have like uh, in the add-on and and this is the one of them and then I back with the book page and it fit like perfect to these it's gonna be a side tuck for this thing if not just, I will just trim it out a little bit it doesn't matter what theme or uh, or image you can collage it over if you don't like them and this is the one that we're gonna punch the top and tie the sari on on top of it yeah so that so simple right and and you can mass make these in if you are um, selling uh, and it's good for you know you de-stash your ephemera or something and you make this package and put the your de-stash in here and sell it as a package it's it's nicer than you know just sell the stash right because then people who buy this they can they can make a journal out of it and you know and make them or you can do a a mail a friend mail like this one may be not a good idea for friend mail because it's at the bulk of volume but this one is like you know it's flat and uh, keep your cost of shipping down and I thought this a fun and easy um, make that you can do yeah Did I? yeah so when I just so I try to to just so just like not um, on this side so I don't waste just so underneath this because you're gonna cover it up anyway. So when when this dry, you take to the sewing machine and you run it just around. But we put the tab on first so you so that the sewing machine the sewing stitch can catch the tab. Not if you want to punch the top. Yeah, so that's it for today's share. Quick and easy. And hope you having fun. Um, also another one that I've been doing um, while I was sitting and enjoying outside with my hubby. Some nice warm day. 
I take out the modeling page stencil and book page. So I just stencil um, the book page and let it dry outside and see you can just and then it's you have plenty to to use for collage later. It's fun to collage with and especially when you want texture on it. Yeah, so anyway, I should let you go so you can enjoy the weekend and have fun. Have a happy long weekend. Happy Canada Day to all my Canadian friends. So we'll see you next video. Bye.